Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on track concepts and in this video we will discuss the difference between SQL and NoSQL. So at a high level, both SQL and NoSQL are same. They store data, they query data, they, they let you delete data, they let you update it, insert data. So on surface level, everything is same. But under the surface, there are significant differences when it comes to performance, scalability and flexibility. So let's look into those differences. And if you ask me which is better, is SQL better or NoSQL better? There is no right or wrong answer over here. It totally depends on your requirement, on what you need. On the basis of that, you can choose whether you want to have a SQL database or a NoSQL database. So now let's begin with the difference. So SQL is a relational database, NoSQL is a non-relational database. Now, what is the meaning of relational database? Rela relational database means tables, there are tables. So over here, as you can see, this is SQL database, relational database, there are tables. There are various tables and they are also related to each other via various foreign keys and all of that. NoSQL database is something like this, key value pair, graph, document, column family, something of this sort so so yes sql is table based no sql um, could be key value pairs json document graph databases etc okay and in sql we have fixed data because we are using tables which is why we have fixed data in no sql there is flexible schema in sql sql is designed for scaling up vertically and NoSQL is designed for scaling up horizontally. Now, what this means is, for example, you have a building. And what is the meaning of scaling up vertically is basically you're adding flows on top of that. But in NoSQL, it is designed for scaling up horizontally, which means suppose you have a complex and you're just increasing the number of buildings. You're not increasing the number of floors in a building, but you're rather increasing buildings only in the whole area. That is the meaning of scaling up horizontally. So here I have uh, described it better. SQL database says scale vertically, usually on a single server, single building, and require users to increase physical hardware to increase their storage cap uh, capacities. No SQL databases offer horizontal scalability, meaning that more servers simply need to be added to increase their data load. So mostly SQL is based on a single server and NoSQL is based on more, more number of servers. And if you want some examples, uh, so for SQL, we have MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL, all of these are examples of SQL databases. And for NoSQL, we have Neo4j, Bigtable and all of that. Now, if you want some real world examples, some real world examples, Airbnb uses NoSQL databases to store and manage data for its booking platform. And mostly NoSQL databases are designed to handle large volume of unstructured data. Whenever your data is unstructured, you cannot use a relational database, so you can use NoSQL databases. NoSQL databases are an excellent choice for big data analytics, remember that. And uh, a real world example for SQL databases would be Snapchat or Instagram. They make use of SQL to store all the information of the users. So that is the major difference between SQL and NoSQL. I hope that was clear. Make sure to check out the SQL playlist for more videos on SQL that will help you in mastering SQL. And with that, I will end the video. Like, share and subscribe to the channel and we will come back again with a power packed video. Thank you.